Hello, everybody. I'm Professor Tim Spector from the Zoe Health Study. And this week, I'll be sharing a quick update on the latest COVID numbers, which, according to official stats, are still decreasing. But according to our data, unfortunately, are starting to go up again. And also giving you some fascinating data from our recently launched uh, blood pressure study. Now, talking about that first, the Zoe Blood Pressure Study, absolutely thanks to everyone who has completed this. We've had over 41,000 of you so far, which is amazing. And if you haven't had your invite yet, it should be coming this week by email. Uh, do look out for it. And if you haven't completed your survey yet, there's still time. This data where you, you actually take your own blood pressure is incredibly valuable and helps give a good understanding of your baseline health levels, so helps yourself as well as other people. Of our participants so far, the majority are in the age groups um, 50, to, uh, 50 to 69 and over 70s, but we've still got a wide uh, variety of people who are taking part. The average systolic blood pressure is 122, and the diastolic, that's the lower one, uh, is around 75. And we're seeing that blood pressure tends to go up with age. And of course, young people have uh, much lower ones than that. And we've got some insights we're going to share uh, this week with you about how important it is to take your medication, because uh, we asked you about your medications, uh, not only what you were taking, but also how often you were taking them. And this is called drug adherence. And it's really important because uh, many tablets just end up being flushed down the toilet these days um, because people aren't sure they're really doing anything. Um, but as you can see, uh, people who didn't take it did have a lower blood pressure than those uh, not following their treatment as, as regularly. And if you look at the graph, you can see those people who report that they rarely adhere, um, rarely take their medication regularly have a mean blood pressure over 140, which is on the high side, whereas those who only occasionally forget have blood pressures under 130. And those goody goodies who always adhere to their, to their regime, do what their doctor says, are really close to 120. So it's really important to take your medication as prescribed. Um, and so um, you can see this effect in all our age groups. And it's also, we've adjusted this for age because we do realize that older age groups are also those people uh, that have higher uh, blood pressures. So uh, as we get more uh, data from you about your blood pressure, we'll be able to uh, see how this links with other health outcomes and particularly following up the question that a lot of people are asking, is there a link to high blood pressure and having had COVID? And we should be able to answer that if we get more of you signing up. Uh, so back to COVID and rates of COVID are uh, starting to increase again uh, with BA5 now still the common, uh, the dominant variant. And we're currently at about 112,000 uh, cases at the moment, daily new cases, 112, 816. That means about one in 44 people have the virus at the moment. And I've got a few friends of mine who just gone down with it, having not had it for over uh, two and a half years, and are quite surprised. Mm -hmm. The overall R number is still hanging around the one. Um, it hasn't yet gone to 1.1, but it probably will do so fairly soon. And if you look at the age groups here, um, obviously the, the younger age group, 0 to 17, is where... In all the previous waves, we've seen um, it's starting here first, really before it kicks off in the other groups. And unfortunately, this is the one that's uh, gone up most in the last uh, couple of weeks. One in 36 young people have COVID. And some of that might have been festivals and meeting over uh, summer, but haven't yet seen the impact of uh, back to school. So we're going to be seeing that, uh, I think, in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, COVID symptoms, uh, those of you getting COVID at the moment are reporting pretty much what we've been seeing for the last uh, month or so, 
predominant one is still sore throat. Uh, that's two thirds of you getting sore throat, followed by headache, uh, blocked nose, and a dry cough and runny nose. Um, do keep logging your COVID tests in the app. There's a new place to log it, a test result uh, in the profile tab of the app. So don't think it's not there. We've just moved it around a bit, make it easier for you to do your other logging. And uh, if you do show any new symptoms, you'll also be prompted to report a COVID test. Uh, so we keep up to date on that. Now, um, the government's booster campaign for COVID starts this month. And uh, those offered the vaccine are going to be people over 50, as well as um, health and social care staff. And this is a bivalent vaccine. Half of the dose is for the original uh, nasty variant, uh, the Wuhan variant, and the, and the other half is based on the Omicron B1, the first of the Omicrons, not the latest one. Only the US is using that one at the moment. Very little data on this, so really keen that we uh, recommend that you do get your, your booster, but uh, we also really need that information so we can see how that vaccine is performing. Uh, but I think it's really important to realize that we are anticipating rates of COVID to go really up again. So if you do get a shot, uh, uh, do take it up. Now, in conclusion, uh, we're seeing COVID numbers starting to increase again. This trend is likely to continue, particularly with uh, kids back at school. Uh, do remember your booster uh, and let us know your experience, side effects, symptoms, whether it worked or it didn't. We really want to know. Very little data out there. Do remember to join our amazing blood pressure study. When you get your email, uh, you can get a monitor from friends, family, or at your local pharmacy. Uh, and do complete that survey, really important for us. We're getting amazing data. And do keep logging your health and your symptoms uh, in the app every day, just as you have been uh, in the past. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Please share the app with friends and family. And as always, support science and keep logging. Thank you.